All right. Night talks, fun. So I'm responsible for the product development at Green Energy Corporation. And for the last two years, we've been working on a next generation automation platform. And what I'm going to do today is tell you a little story about how we're taking that platform and applying it to microgrids. So let me introduce you to the star character. It's the me in the bottom corner. And he has a little project and big dreams and aspirations about doing something worthy, a worthy challenge, global, global, of global proportions. And so the idea, wouldn't it be cool if you could take or redefine a part of the industry and create a new in, uh, ecosystem that doesn't exist today, do good, and have fun? But what is a microgrid? So let's define a microgrid, OK? First, a microgrid, for this instance, is civilization in a box for controlling resources like power and water. Second, it's for optimization of those resources through economics, uh, reliability, uh, and other resources. And there's technologies that have to go into that. And the me loves technologies, loves open source, loves to use it, loves to create it. And as you can see, there's a, a number of different things here that the me has been working on. And it's not me, it's the me. <laughs> so the me also needs a community in this case. And one of the projects that we talked about or, or mentioned before is Reef. And there's other little projects that are going on in there to help create this community and the ecosystem that we're looking at. So hopefully you're starting to get a some picture. We've got a great idea. We've got uh, trying to build an ecosystem, trying to build a community. And we want to do well and do good. So let's step back a second and think about an application. And in this case, the GEM Institute is actually looking at uh, creating eco-villages in Haiti and leveraging microgrids in our platform in this context. It's a pretty neat idea uh, of actually providing something really useful. So the platform really needs to be a seed to basically support things like open source and drive open source, to support standards that the industry can adopt to, to support an architecture that's resilient. And, and allow the ecosystem special purpose services to grow. So one of the things that uh, the me came up with was a code name reef, coral reef, you know, a perfect example of a really competitive ecosystem that allows things to grow and survive on their own merits. So this is an unhappy me. And the unhappy me is really looking at the siloed application problem, right? This is very common. Everybody understands this. Now, the happy me is going to be using the project Reef. And it allows those applications now to leverage all the information, get away from the n-squared problems of point-to-point -point interfaces. And we're also talking to a number of remote sensing devices out in the field. So we're happy. <laughs> so this is another uh, idea or uh, something that came from um, Pike Research. But it's a, uh, an island in the Baltic Sea. It's a microgrid where they're leveraging uh, a number of renewables. And there's uh, technologies that have to manage those renewables. So it can be applied in many different areas. And this is a case of the DOD looking at how to stabilize portions of the grid leveraging distributed energy resources. So there's a lot of uh, software technology for managing it, the uh, flow of electricity for that support. Now, the ecosystem we talked about earlier, so what is this ecosystem? Well, it's really an ecosystem for driving the applications that are non-existent today, or at least only the 800-pound gorillas have, that you really want to bring all that information in. And you really need to enable them to be able to do that. One, you have to enable standards. You need to be able to have liberal licenses so that they can attach into this ecosystem. And you want an architecture that's loosely coupled so they can grow and add things to it. So this is another project that we've been working on. It's a freedom project. It's uh, seven universities, NSF funded, and uh, it has 40 different industry partners in it. Uh, really some cutting edge technology. It's a microgrid concept with uh, energy devices that act like routers. And so this is not vaporware. The me has actual screenshots uh, of an operational management system that's showing this, the, the previous slide. And there's different things here, but you know you have a plug-in electric vehicle, solar panels, and other things. So the me does need artist classes, obviously, and, and needs to be able to buy new crayons. So we productize this into a, a product called Green Bus. And uh, we like people to jump on the Green Bus and take a ride. So open source rocks. It really gives us an opportunity to move forward and do some really incredible things. 
Uh, thank you for your attention and cheers. <laughs>